So here is the code from the previous video and I will remove these comments, all right? I don't want them. Now, I want to talk about the build process. So we have a C code over here, right? When we press build and run, a program is created and we run it on our computer, okay? So this code is written in the C programming language. So to be able to run it on our computer, we must convert this code into a program that the computer can understand so we can run it on the computer. So you remember the compiler that I told you about? This compiler is responsible for transforming this code from the C language to a language that the computer can understand, okay? So let me show you this. This is my project folder. Over here, I have a folder called OBG. This is short for object. Open it and open this. And over here, you will see main.o. So the main.c file contains our code in the C programming language. Then the compiler converts this to something that the computer can understand. And this thing is this file over here. This is an object file. It contains a code that the computer understands, all right? So this is the job of the compiler. It compiles the code from a high language, which is in this case, the C programming language, to a low language, which the computer understands. So the high language, a human can understand, and the low language, the computer can understand, okay? Now, this object file, double click on it, and as you can see, I cannot run it on the computer. It's not an application. So, the compiler does not make an application. Let me go back over here, open this bin, it is short for binary. Open it, and this, and over here, I have an application. So, this is the program that can actually run on my computer. Let me tell you what happens. First of all, the compiler transforms the C code into object files, okay? Then something called a linker links the object files with other files that you are using in our program. For example, we saw these header files previously, right? We are using them inside the main.c file. So the linker combines the object file that the compiler created, which is the main.o file, with the header files that you are using. And when everything is linked together, we get this application. And this is the program that can run on the computer. Now let me show you this. Double click on this. And as you can see, it is opening and closing very fast. So let me tell you why. In code blocks, if we try to build and run this, it runs and it stays over here, right? And this is because we are running it inside code blocks. So over here, I'm going to add something system and put double quotes and inside put pause. So now I'm going to build a new program and run it. So build and run. And now as you can see, we have this press any key to continue. So press anything and now the program ends. So now I have a new program that pauses before it exits. So now if you try to run it, this is the new program, double click and have a look. It runs and then it waits for me to end it. So now if I press something, it will close, all right? So later on, I might not use system pause because I'll be running the program from inside code blocks. But if you want to run your programs from over here, you should add this system pause, okay? So the build process is two steps. First, the compiler works and then the linker, okay? So have a look at this button. It builds our program and then runs it. But this button only builds the program. So this executable file, will be created. Then this button runs the executable file. So for example, if I make some changes over here and I don't build the program, let's try to run it. Over here, we see the current program working. Okay, we did not create a new program. So let's create a new program. So build, and now this file over here changed. So if I run it over here, we can see the new program working. And this button over here builds and run the program in the same time, all right? So this is all about the build process. I know it's boring, but it's important to know what happens whenever we create programs. Okay, so this is it and I'll see you in the next video.